Hi, Lisa. How are you today? I am good. How are you, Diana? I am really well. Thank you for being here. Well, and thank you. thank you for leading our next Talking Circle experience on July 7th. Um, the title of the experience is How Do You Want to Be Seen? Which is um, at the core of Lisa's business and also personal philosophy. Uh, Lisa's a portrait photographer and podcast host. So Lisa, tell me a little bit about um, your business and that philosophy. Thank you for letting me be here and for letting me be a part of this evening. Uh, that question, how do you want to be seen? It has actually sculpted my whole business model. And it started out as just a tagline. It was originally, how do you want to be photographed? Mm -hmm. But that felt really shallow. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> who knows how they want to be photographed? That's why they hire a photographer. Right. And for a lot of people, the answer to that question would be, I really don't want to be photographed. And that got me thinking, what am I really asking? And what I wanted to know was, how do you want to be seen? What is it you want people to know about you, to perceive about you? And that has led to so many rich conversations, enlightening discussions, and honestly, just beautiful portraits. So that is how it started, and it's just continuing on and growing so much for me. Oh, that's, that's absolutely beautiful. And sorry, guys, let me just turn this guy off. <laughs> These things happen on Zoom. So the, the thing I wanted to bring us back to then as we look forward to the seventh is that, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. It was a perfect take and it's, okay. So I'm going to see if I can edit this. Okay. That's beautiful, Lisa. And in fact, I experienced the process with you and Emma and I came a couple of years ago for a mother-daughter session, which really was a wonderful experience. I had... Okay. Siri here. Let me know if I can help. Yeah, you can stop and shut up. Okay. You couldn't plan this stuff. <laughs> no. We should probably actually just put this in as the blooper reel. Okay. okay. All right. Compose yourself. I'll do the same. There's, maybe they come in threes. My other dog just walked in. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful, Lisa. And, you know, I, I have to say I experienced the process of working with you when Emma and I came a couple of years ago for a mother daughter session. It was really helpful. It was actually, I was coming um, out of a health challenge and was, you know, at a place where I definitely was not feeling like being photographed, but I shifted all of that aside because what I felt was love with my daughter. So it was a wonderful process. So I thank you. So on to what we're planning for the seventh. And this is very exciting because as Lisa and I were talking about this, we're saying, okay, there's a lot of ripe fodder for discussion, but what could be something interesting we could actually do? And we've come upon, I'll let you describe this, Lisa, in more detail. We've come upon an approach that I would actually call sort of a virtual before and after selfie experience with yeah. photography, right? Yes, I wish I could take credit, but you know, it was your idea. Uh, yeah, it was a great idea to have all of the attendees take a selfie as you normally would, and then we'll delve into that question. How do you want to be seen? And as we do that, we're going to discuss a lot of the, the ideas around that. And a lot of the influences that we don't even know that we're, that we're influenced by. All of the things we don't even know we're influenced by. Um, and then the after selfie. And we'll deal a little bit with lighting and all that stuff, but that's really not the big stuff. The, the most important thing is answering that question. How do you want to be seen? And you will be surprised at the difference between those two photographs. Wonderful. Well, I look forward to seeing you again then, and I look forward to all of you. In the email that's uh, where this video is being uh, viewed, there is a link to a page where you can RSVP. I ask you to please register. It is a free event. It is not um, something that 
you'll need to pay for, but it's something that I love. We love to know who's coming and love to know how many people to expect. Uh, the time again is 5 p.m. Eastern time on July 7th. So thanks again. Have a wonderful day, Lisa. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.